Hello, hello. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use stamps in your notebook or journal. So if you are interested in seeing this video, please be sure to stay tuned. Okay, thank you so much again for visiting my channel today. My name is Brandy Janae, and in this video, I'm going to be using my A5 Archer and Olive notebook. Um, this is my swatch book. Many of you have, um, you know, if you've watched my video before, then you've heard me talking about it. So this is the, the book I'm going to just be using to swatch my different colors, and then to also, it's, um, you know, kind of use my different page layout ideas or whatever. Um, so as you can see, I've kind of taken all of my stationery and wrote them down. And then in my last video, I showed you how to use the bullet journal or to use your journal for only stickers and still make a cute spread. And then in today's video, I'm going to be practicing with some stamps. So before I stamped in my actual um, journal, you know, I wanted to do a practice run in this one. So in this particular book, I am going to be, well, for this particular day, rather, I'm going to be using some clear acrylic stamps. Um, so in order for me to do this, I need a stamping block because again, I'll be using clear stamps. So this particular block comes from Stampin' Up. Again, if you've been watching my videos, you know, most of my things come from Stampin' Up because I used to be a demonstrator. So <laughs> a lot of my, um, you know, crafting materials come from there. Um, but I love these because, um, you know, they're really sturdy and they have the grooves on the side. So they're easier for you to grip. And then I also have the entire case of them, which I can actually show you that comes with multiple. So it comes in this little case and then you have multiple sizes of blocks. Um, and then that way, you know, depending on the size of your thing, you can just use a different size block. So anyway, this is the case that I purchased for my stamp block. So you'll need a stamp block. I have this Memento ink, um, which I know they sell, you know, in random and all pretty much all the craft stores. This particular one came from Stampin' Up as well. And this is just in the tuxedo black. Oops. And then I have this set of stamps from Coco Daisy. I'm not really sure if this is still available or not. I don't even remember where I got these stamps from, but they were in my stamp collection and I thought they were cute. So I decided to go ahead and pull these out. So obviously with the acrylic stamps, um, typically, you know, you want to find a block that's going to be about the same size of your stamp. I feel like when you get the blocks that are too big, you run into more of an error situation. So I try to find a block that's fairly, you know, relative in size to the actual stamp. You don't want one too big and you don't want one that's way too small. So I'm going to take this stamp and now it's adhered to my acrylic block. Let's move that out of the way. And a lot of people take the time and actually like line them up. I don't really feel the need to do that because it's clear so I can see where I'm going to actually place it. Um, and then for my ink, I like to go this way because I feel like it gives you more control and you can see um, a lot of times. So let me just stamp it this way and then we'll do it the other way. So I'm going to just take this. Does it really matter where it's going? Cause it's practice. Ha ha. There we go. And again, normally if I was doing this on like a card or, you know, something like that, I would stamp on a random piece of paper first because sometimes the acrylic stamps, especially, they just don't really stamp very well the first time. So it, um, you know, it, you don't want to mess your project up, obviously. Now, so I did that, you know, the way I normally do. Take this, pop it down. I kind of look over it to check for the edges. And then I'll just stamp this one here. Oops, I shifted it. My bad. <laughs> That was my fault. I got too close to the paper. Let's try that again without shifting it. All right, so there we go. 
Um, and then let me check this paper to see for ghosting or bleed through. So you get a slight ghosting with this ink, um, but there's, and then there's a little bit of a bleed through, but it's not super duper bad. So, um, you know, I don't know if maybe this ink is just too, a little too dark for this or what, I don't know, but that's why I use my test book. <laughs> so um, anyway, there is that. But then now if you do it this way, which can still be done, now you see what happened. I lost control of how hard I was tapping on it. And now there's ink like everywhere. So a lot of times when that happens, well, this stamp is really good. But most of the time when that happens, you'll get ink in here. And then when you push down, now you'll have a spot like this on your paper. So, but this particular stamp is pretty good with keeping it from inking all over the place. So that's cool. So then to clean my stamps, I like to just use baby wipes. Like I have this set of Huggies baby wipes, nothing spectacular. And I try to clean them immediately afterwards so that they're not, um, you know, ruined. And, you know, it's normal for stamps to have a little bit of ink uh, still left on them. You know, they may not be perfectly clear like they were the first time, depending on what kind of ink you're using. But you just want to try to get as much cleared off as possible. And if you get in the habit of cleaning your stamps off immediately, it just saves you a lot of time later on. So now that that is clean, some people use paper towels to dry them off and all that. I don't go through all that. I just... Stick it back. <laughs> and yeah, so, and then if I wanted to add, like, let's say I wanted to just put this one in the middle, it'd be the same process. Stick it on the block, flip this over, lightly tap to add my ink. And then I can kind of line it up in the center, stamp it down and done. Um, let's try one more time. Lightly stamp, lightly ink. I personally think that the acrylic stamps are a little bit easier to work with because even if you mess up, um, the first time, if you, you know, try really hard, you can re-stamp. So, um, I, you know, I kind of prefer the acrylic stamps. But the wood stamps are pretty cool. So I'm going to also do some stamping practice with the wood stamps. And I'll try a different ink too, just to kind of see if I can um, not have as much ghosting or bleed through with a different ink. Because I do obviously have different options. So anyway, that is the end of this. Um, oops, sorry. That's the end of this video. I just wanted to, again, show you a quick way to stamp in your journal um, using these acrylic stamps. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so and be on the lookout for my part two of this video where I am going to be stamping using the wood block stamps. Thank you so much for watching and as always, have a good day friends. Goodbye!